Imagine Earth in its infancy, fiery, chaotic, and young. Just 100 million years after its birth, it was already a planet under siege, bombarded by space debris and a solar system still settling into order. Then came the cataclysm that would change everything. A Mars-sized body, now known as Theia, hurtled toward Earth, its trajectory unstoppable. The collision was apocalyptic. Theia slammed into the proto-Earth with such force that the very crust of our planet was torn apart. Mountains vaporized, oceans of magma erupted. And from that unimaginable violence, something extraordinary began to take shape. The debris flung into orbit didn't scatter into the void. Instead, gravity began its patient work. Within weeks, then months, then years, the fragments coalesced, molten rock clumped together, cooling, spinning, fusing. And slowly, from the wreckage of Theia and Earth, the moon was born. Unlike Earth, the moon bears the scars of that formation to this day. Its surface is littered with craters, its core solidified long ago. Yet in many ways, it's a twin. Moon rocks brought back from Apollo missions show remarkable chemical similarities to Earth's mantle, suggesting a shared origin. Oxygen isotopes in both bodies match almost perfectly, strengthening the giant impact theory's case. Still, it's not a closed case. Some scientists question how such a perfect angular momentum could result from such chaos. Others wonder why the moon lacks much of Theia's expected signature. Did Theia vaporize entirely, or was it somehow absorbed into Earth? Alternative theories exist, like a co-formation from the same disk of dust or a gravitational theft from another planet's moon, but none fit the evidence as cleanly. What remains is a cosmic paradox, a violent impact that led to balance. The moon now gently stabilizes Earth's tilt, giving us seasons, tides, and perhaps even the conditions for life. Without that ancient destruction, life as we know it may never have found footing on this planet. From chaos, harmony, from fire, light. So the next time you look up at the moon, remember, it's not just a glowing circle in the sky. It's a monument to collision, survival, and the strange beauty born when worlds collide.